Hello everybody and welcome to WASD20. My name is Nate and today we are going to be focusing on more mountains. Yes, more mountains. Uh, we last time did a little tutorial on uh, drawing better mountain ranges and improving mountain ranges and I actually had some feedback that I wanted to share with you uh, that I thought was really solid advice. So let's take a look. I don't know if you guys remember this right here. This piece of paper right here is one that I used on my last mountain drawing tutorial, just about improved mountain drawing. And uh, you may notice it's not looking too good. Well, uh, the night after I drew it, uh, before I even posted the video actually and had finished editing the video, my daughter had gotten a hold of it and uh, scribbled all over it. So that was fun. And I promptly just said, oh, well, I'll throw it away. I'm not going to use it anymore. But I, I was just emptying the trash out yesterday and uh, found it and thought, you know what? I kind of meant to do that video, so let's talk. So here's the deal. I posted that video. It must have been on our map making on Reddit, the uh, map making subreddit, which is a cool place. I recommend it. Um, the feedback that I got was that my mountain range uh, was that actually this one, the first one I drew, uh, this person thought was more realistic and better than this one right here, which is kind of the the one that I did in the end. And I kind of see where he's coming from. And here is where he's coming from. He said that this kind of back and forth motion is not very realistic. And this right here is actually more realistic, more of a singular, a singular spine that's not so wavy. This is just not the way mountains are usually formed. Now, if we really want to be realistic about it, you know, we can look at some actual maps. So let's do that here. Uh, here's a map of Colorado, the Rockies. Um, you can see that, you know, mountains are just, they're just everywhere. They're not following lines. If you look at fantasy maps, you don't really see many mountains like this. Uh, nor do I really want to. <laughs> um, even mountains, even if we do draw them in a different style, we don't draw them this kind of, I don't know, just this cluster of mountains. We almost always do draw them in lines. And there are some lines in here. We can zoom in, we can go to Washington here, we can see some some continuous ridge lines along which there are several mountains and we can see here in California as well. I'm just picking on places here in the US that I've been to and, and mountains that I've uh, spent some time in, we'll say. And if we zoom way out on some of these ranges like this one here in Canada, we do see that the range itself tends to follow a fairly straight line, even if the individual mountains themselves make up a fairly craggy, wrinkly mess. So I can see that perhaps having a straighter spine to the mountain might be a little more realistic. Now you can see here in the mountains that I did for the Absolute Tabletop book, Be a Better Campaign Master Book 1, Building the World, that I made a similar mistake of perhaps maybe going a little too dramatic in my back and forth. But, you know, maybe you can find some mountains somewhere like this in the world, and uh, it's not a huge deal. You get the idea. Uh, perhaps a more straight line would be would be better and so i thought we'd try some of those so i actually have been drawing this map here um this is one that i i need to get back to to finish my bookmark my my cell sword maps bookmark but um the mountains here i tried to draw a little more in, in straight lines and, and you can see right here i've got some kind of side by side and i like that uh, this right here too i really do like that in reality we often see let me turn to a new page here we often see that mountains branch off one another. So if we are looking top down at some mountains here, we might see that one ridge line goes like this, and there's another one branching off of it, and off of that, and off of that, and it's just, it's a craggy mess. And um, yeah, so there's just kinda, you know, all these branching ridge lines, and it's just, they're everywhere, right? And that's really hard to draw on a fantasy map, and I don't really enjoy drawing them that way. I've kind of tried the branching thing, and, and here and there, I, I do it. If you go to sellswordmaps.com, you look at some of my maps, you'll definitely see that, you know, I've, I've drawn some maps that way. But in general, um, I do like to kind of stick to single ranges and, and here and there have a branch. So if we were going to draw one, you know, we might say that I might, this is just the shape of the general ridge line that I might do on a map. So yeah, I might have, you know, a branch right here, and maybe I'll have one right here goes like that and maybe I'll have kind of a singular right there and then here and there I'll just draw a single mountain or, or two right there and that's kind of how I do it in general um, again 
I don't know if it's super realistic, but what I tend to do is just go to maps that I like and I look at what they're doing. I go to Max's Maps. Go to maxsmaps.com. Check out his stuff. Uh, go to Fantastic Maps. Uh, go to the Cartographer's Guild. Go to our map making. Go to these places and look at maps. Or you know what? Look up some of your favorites. Look up the map of Westeros. Look up the map of Narnia or, or the map of Middle Earth, which is notoriously unrealistic in many people's eyes. And, you know, certainly I can see some things that, yeah, these aren't the way things naturally occur on that map. Uh, and to some people that probably bothers them a whole lot, and other people it does not at all. It's just a beautiful map. So it all depends on you and what you and maybe your gaming group prefer. Some of you will not rest until you get everything right. And others of you just want to chill and draw some maps. Now, let's do some mountains. Because, because I have you here and we're talking about mountains, <clears throat> let's actually draw some. So I'm going to take my pencil first and do uh, sort of a ridge line here. Okay, so there we've got a very light ridge line. You can probably hardly see that. And I'm just gonna be bold and, and go for it here. I'm not gonna, this, this might look terrible in the end. I'm just trying to do a quick and dirty mountain range here. All right, so this one's gonna be a gigantic mountain. So we'll draw that in here. But on the right side, we're gonna draw our other, other slope, the far side slope. Now, the more vertical you get, sometimes the harder it is to draw mountains in a ridgeline technique. I'm sorry, the more horizontal you get. So this is a little more horizontal than I usually go, and that does make it tricky, but it's totally doable still. All right, so there's this awesome big old mountain right here. And a little ridge line there. And so that's our far side. And we can maybe do another little thing right there. Again, that's kind of one of those branching, branching paths, draw the ridge line going down there. And now on the other side, we can also draw our slopes. And this, this side is a little uh, easier in general. Some of them steeper than others. Some of them have a curve. That right there, in hindsight, you know, that's a little too much flat space for me. It's a little too much like a wall, but you know, we'll live with it. Okay, so without doing any shading, there's just a, you know, a really quick one. And again, I kind of started with a pretty straight line there. And, and um, then I got a little more varied in here. And it, I don't know, I'm not totally happy with it turned out. But that's that's pretty good for a two-minute mountain range. <laughs> I would probably redo it if I were doing it again. Now, if we're doing, let's say we're not doing the ridge line technique. Let's try just, um, you know, try and do, we again, are, are going to trace the basic. I'm still given a ridge line. Uh, but now if we were going to do... <clears throat> some actual uh, individual peaks more. Um, how might that look? Again, quick and dirty, not taking a ton of care here in, in getting it just so. Uh, we'll just kind of draw in some mountain ranges with my nice big old fat flare pen. In some ways, I find this so much easier and um, I, I tend to gravitate toward it when I, when I really want to make sure I nail a mountain range. Because this is really hit or miss, like I'm not real happy with that, but, but the, uh, the old, this technique, it's just so easy to adjust it on the fly when you're not dealing with like one continuous ridge line. It's like, uh, I don't like the way that looks, it needs a little more in there. Then you just add a mountain. <laughs> you don't have to adjust the ridge line that you already drew. Okay, so these are, are fairly peaky mountains. 
And now I'm noticing that it's almost too straight right here, so I would probably do some down here, some down here. And maybe I'll do, you know, I can vary the shape a little bit. They're, again, fairly, fairly triangular, uh, conical. So maybe I'll make some that are a little you know, more like that. And I'll do another one right here. And we can even do some that are really just kind of, here's some hills. And you can fill them in and make them more dense if you like. Do that. So again, that's the nice thing about this style is you can really just you can fill them in. And usually with mountain ranges, you are going to see a fair amount of foothills. All right, so again, this is just the very basic shape. Uh, you know, we could go in, and if you're going to do your shading here, first off, you don't have to do shading. Um, there are many maps that don't have much, and, and it can look okay, but I usually like to do some, and what I would usually do is just kind of draw a squiggly line down the middle there. I would probably use a thinner pen than this. And you can vary the shapes of those quite a bit. Some of them go that way quite a bit, some of them go this way. And then you can take your pencil or your pen and just do some, some light hatching there. Or, you know, if you want to be bold, that high contrast style, just go for it. Color it in all the way. And you can add some, add a little variety in there, some texture. So uh, you get the idea, I think. So it is useful to summarize to think about mountain ranges in terms of straight lines. Um, and the other thing is, you know, it, it's kind of up to you on how much realism matters. Uh, now I posted the uh, adventure adventures in mapping video, which is kind of my mapping journal series of, of just me reflecting on the process of me drawing commission. Uh, of some of the commission maps that I've drawn. And um, one thing that someone said is <laughs> basically, you should learn how to draw maps better before you try to teach others. And you know, <laughs> I, I, I took that pretty personally, and, um, but, I, but I responded very kindly and I basically said, oh, you know, I'm really interested in your feedback and wanting to know what you think. And the person didn't really have much specifics for me, just said, well, you, you know, you didn't have enough rivers and you didn't have enough uh, and, and I, uh, you know, you need to look at some actual maps to see more about mountains and, um, was it forests? I can't remember what it was. So, you know, I've, I've looked at a lot of actual real world maps. I've read books on <laughs> drawing maps. I've looked at lots and lots of fantasy maps and I, I can see certainly some ways in which I could improve in the realism. Uh, and realism is something I am somewhat concerned about for sure. But at the end of the day... <laughs> I like making maps for imaginary worlds. Uh, I like making maps that look cool and um, yeah, that have some realism, some semblance of realism uh, and maps that are fun to play games in and read stories about and, and that sort of thing. So if people ever do have comments on how things could be more realistic, I'm absolutely always open to them because I really do want to learn more about that. But I think I've talked at you guys enough tonight. I think you're off the hook. No, actually, you need to sit your butt down and draw some mountains. I think I'm off the hook. I'm not feeling too well, so I'm gonna go take some NyQuil and go to bed. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. I always wanna hear from you down in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed and all that good stuff. Everybody take care. You will see me again very soon.